Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone. Firstly, for the honorable all the judges and all the audience who are present here, how are you today? Awesome. I hope all of you guys have a great day today. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce myself. I'm Harina Azra Basuki. You can call me Rina, and I'm from Muhammadiyah II Junior High School, Yogyakarta. On this occasion, I would like to tell you a story from West Java. And the title is The Legend of Situ Bagendi. Before I start, I would like you a question. Have you heard this story before? Okay, please keep on watching. Once upon a time, in West Java, there lived a very wealthy woman in a small village. She lived by herself in a very, very big house. But she was very greedy, so people called her Nyai Bagendit, the greedy, wealthy woman. I'm the richest woman in this village! All this wealth are mine. No one can take even a little cent from me. I have all of this by my own. So why do I have to share the things with the other? That was what she thought about. Whenever the villager needs some money, they borrow from her. However, when they return it, he had to pay double. If they were not able to return the debt, Nyai Bagendit would ask their servant to take the villagers belong. By the way, Nyai Bagendit also hated beggars. She thought the beggars were lazy people. And she never felt sorry for any beggar coming to her house. One day, a very old woman came to her and asked for some help. And she said, Nyai Bagendit, please help me. My son has never had food for day. We, we were starving. Oh, the ugly old woman. You asked for some food? This is my house, not a restaurant. Get away from me. I don't care with you or your son. Whether you are starving or even dying, it is not my business. Nyai Bagendit said. The old woman didn't move from Nyai Bagendit's side. So Nyai Bagendit sprayed the woman with some water. Hush! Hush! Go away! After that, the old woman and her son get wet. Nyai Bagendit, you have everything! But you never help people. Just wait until God gives you a punishment. The old woman said, Nyai Bagani was so cruel. She didn't feel a little sorry for the old woman. Even if she got angrier, she forced the old woman to get out of her yard. Yee! Such a foolish woman! Who does she think she is? She comes to me for a help. Shoo! A few days later, a very old man with a stick to walk come to Nyai Bagendit and ask for some water. And he said, Nyai Bagendit, help me. I'm so thirsty. If you don't mind, I will take the water from your well. Is the old man. Hey, the poor old man. You asked for some water? I don't take my water for you. Any drop of my water, it's only for me. No one can take any of them. Go away. Nyai Bagadit said. And the man went by. He used his stick to walk and he stopped by the Nyai Bagendit house yard. Put his stick on the ground and shout, Nyai Bagendit, 
You don't lose any drop of your water. Now I will give you more. After that, the man he took his stick. He took his stick on the ground. So the water came out, burst into the air, and it swept all over the village. And Nyai Bagni was drawn off the old wells. Somebody help me! Please help me! And she said, "So I have a quick question for you. If you accidentally at this village, would you help her? If I were you, yes, of course. I don't want to help her. So why? What happened after that? Yes, no one want to help her." Because what she did in the past, and now it becomes a lake. So people call the lake Situ Bagendit. Moral value: What we get from this story is people should laugh together and help each other, and don't be greedy because it will only bring disaster. I think that's all from me. So. Thank you for your nice attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.